get into this video, I want to make clear that this is a follow-up to my previous video about adding fractions with large denominators. So if you're trying to get into this, maybe you should consider watching the previous video first because that goes into the process in a lot more detail. In this video, I'm just going to be explaining how to add fractions with large denominators that have a factor in common. So let's get into this question. 7 divided by 20 plus 13 divided by 24. Now, as we did in the previous video, what we have to do is start off by finding the factor tree for both of these denominators, 20 and 24. 20 can be divided into 2 and 10. 10 can be divided into 2 and 5. We can't divide any of these other numbers any further, so let's leave it like that. Well, we can divide it by 1, but every number can be divided by 1, and it doesn't really help us here. 24 can be divided like 12 and 2. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 can be split up into 6 and 2. And 6 can be split up into 2 and 3. Now that we have all these numbers, what we have to do is find the common factor that Eight, if it exists, we'll bind these two numbers together. We can see that these both have the factor of two, but we can also see that it doesn't just these don't just share one two; they actually have two twos in common. Twenty has two has two as a factor two times, and twenty four has it three times. The third two doesn't really matter for twenty four because the two twos are the only ones that these two numbers have in common. Now what we can do is we can actually, that is, what this essentially means is that 4 is a common factor for both of these numbers. And if you multiply it in, you, that makes sense. 20 divided by 4 is 4, is 5, and 24 divided by 4 is 6. This Basically what we're doing here is we have to look for the largest common, uh, the largest common factor of these two numbers here and in that case it is 4. Now what we what we can do with this um, what these numbers is we multiply them together in order to figure out what the great what the what the least common multiple of these two numbers here is. What we do here is we multiply 4 times 5 times okay so we have 4 times 5 over here because 4 times 5 equals 20 on this side we have 4 because that's the greatest common uh, factor that we found and what divided by 24 gives us 4 24 divided by 4 is 6 so we can take this 6 over here these two the 2 and the 3 don't matter in this case Basically what we have to do here, what we're doing here is we're taking the uh, largest factor that these two numbers have in common and finding what number we multiply each of these numbers by in order to get to this original number. And that, In this case it's 4 times 5, in this case it's 4 times 6. Now that we have these numbers, we can multiply them together in order to figure out what number we're putting as the denominator for the combined fraction what we have to do is we multiply 4 times 5 times 6. And we already have two 4s on both sides, so we don't uh, do two t 4s over here. There's already f two 4s. Uh, yeah, we only need to use the 4 one time when we're looking for the denominator of this added fraction. 4 times 5 is 20, and 20 times 6 is actually 120. So the least common multiple of 20 and 24 is 120. Now what we have to do is, is figure out how many times 20 and 24 go into 120. Uh, 120 divided by 20 is 6. So we multiply the top number by 6. And that's 7 times 6, which is 42. And 120 divided by 24 is actually 5. So we multiply this number by 5. 13 times 5, let's multiply that off to the side. 
3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 1 is 6. So 13 times 5 is 65. Now all we have to do is add these numbers together to find our answer. 42 plus 65. Uh, 7 and 10. So our final answer is 107 over 120.